Eleven, eleven with Jenna. Eleven, eleven with Jenna. Eleven, eleven with Jenna. On Sunday, September 4th, 2022. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jenna. This is 11, 11 with Jenna. I'm here seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. Yes, it's true. It's really true. And I'm getting a message, and I don't know what the message is. And let me just see. Because people always just, they love to message me at 11, 11. Hey, what are you doing? Not much. Not much. Not much. <laughs> it's a cracker craving thing. I don't know. Never seen such a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Lots of sweet messages. Hello, Greg. Hey, Mary. Hey, William D. Oh, gotta go public. Let's see go public on this machine. So Greg, I know you're an engineer, but I had a, a Mac malfunction, an Apple malfunction, and I'm just kind of dealing with it. Right, everybody? So it's, it's, it's kind of just crickets around here these days. It's, it's just a cricket. And then, then it says something went wrong. Something went wrong. What's on my mind? Nothing's on my mind, really. A lot on my mind, but tonight is story night. House of the Dragon. I don't even know who House of the Dragon is, and why would you be sending me a message? Oh, well, how cool is that? It's my friend Michael's birthday. Happy birthday, Michael. Let's see. How do I go? I go pub. Edit privacy. I'm editing the privacy. Oop, and it disappeared. I'm going public, and that's done. Yay! Quick, quick, quick. Hey, all nine of you. I was asked tonight when the next Corona Roki is happening. So if anybody has any talent that I know about or that I do not know about, now's the time. Let's do it. Let's get it together because there is no time like today, like the present. Had a, a nice, hey, check it out. Oh, there were. Edit privacy. 11, 11 with Jenna. Nice 11, 11 with Jenna. There's 11 of you here. I can see that now on my, I have my laptop, my iPad, and my phone. I can see, oh, I can see that now. Oh, cool. Hey, there are 12. Tonight is story night. So if you have a story you want to tell, Yeah, a friend of mine broke his toe. Apparently, there's nothing you can do for a broken little toe. It's ribs and little toes. You can break them, and you just got to go with it. He was on a sailboat. There's a big sailboat race this weekend here, Labor Day sailboat race. Chicago, Michigan kind of thing. He broke his toe on the boat, but he took third place. Go, Jerry. Remember Virginia? Virginia's son, Jerry. Yep. Yep, that's right. So... I don't see anybody jumping on to tell a story. What's up with that? I'm here. I'm here to facilitate. I'm the facilitator. But let me just see who's... Cool. William D., Patty Lohman. Nope, what? Oh, nope about. Call me later this week if you want to chat about the computer. <laughs> hey, LP, I miss you so much. I love my LP so much. LP's a horse whisperer with the main horse whisperer, Katie. Dr. Katie's here. Grace Mamina is here. Mama Victoria Williams. Talk about dog whisperers. Mutterly love in the house. Everyone ever, anyone ever asks me, where do I take my dog to get, where do I take my cat to, um, you take her to Victoria. Take him, take them them, there, they, to Mutterly Love, Victoria. Eric, wow, we're all over the place. Portland, California, where are we all? Illinois, how people say Illinois. 
Like they say, Italian. Are you Italian? No. I thought it's gonna be Michigan. More California. Wow, kids. 15 people are here tonight. Are here tonight. Oh, that's all right. 15 people are here tonight. Come on and tell me a story. Please tell me. You coming on, Patty? William? Eric, when are you going to be a guest? Eric does really, he makes guitars out of cigar boxes. And he's a graphic designer, and he's really cool. And don't you guys want Eric to be on the show sometime? Rob Morocco. Do -do 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 -do. Would you like to Zoom, or would you like to call me on the phone? Patty, do you have the Zoom link? Tie-dye Patty. Should I go change and put on some tie-dye Patty? I love putting on tie-dye Patty. I've had... I've had many tie-dye patty pieces in my life, and then sometimes they just... You're doing story time with you while couch touring fish in Colorado. Hey, Trey, what up? What up? That was always a fun night in my life. Well, a lot of fun nights with Trey and some of the boys in the band. Yeah. Mary, come be on the show sometime. Mama Grace with a beautiful face. Yep. I love you too, Mary. Seriously, come be on the show. Patty. Call tie-dye Patty. Oh, she's in my phone different now. It's... It's, it's, it's TD. I'm calling her. I thought there would be countless people trying to get on tonight. There's 16 of you. It's now is the time to sh Hi. 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 I couldn't figure out how to do it on Zoom. Do you want me to send you the link? Sure. Okay. Sure, I mean, I'll yeah. hang up. I'm going to hang up and I'm going to send you the link. Okay. Okay. Tie-dye Patty is on the air. So for those of you that don't know who I am, hi, Pat. My name is Jenna. This is 1111 with Jenna. I'm here seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week since March of 2020. And I would love whoever is on here that I don't know to say hello. You don't have to say, say hi and tell us where you're from. Just, well, you could. But I'd love for each and every one of you to please be on the show sometime because everybody has a story. Every single person has a story. It's true. I have so many stories that I couldn't even think of one tonight. Oh, and I'm sitting here just rambling away, and I need to send the link. And, and if anybody wants to be on the show, message me, and I'll send you the link. And for those of you that have never been on the show or watched the show, we don't talk about politics. No politics. Other than that, there's probably a couple other things that we probably... Hey, Mark McNaughton. Did I say it right? Mark McNaughton. Okay, Patty, you have the link. So all I ask is that you probably turn the volume down from your Facebook, but you might be using your laptop. Who knows? Mark McNaughton. That's a cool name. Have we met? Do I know you? Does anybody know Mark? 16 of you here. I And I... I usually have all these sound effects, but my um, desktop just, pff, I guess Mercury in retrograde is real. That's all I can say. Because they, everything just went away. Everything, poof, went away. And I have, I, I know I need to sit down, but I just haven't, I've been doing other things. So I have not been William, you're not coming on to tell a story. Patty, Julie, core group is not coming on to tell a story. Well, I never. I just never. Oh, I've performed with a couple of members from the band Fish. And I've known Trey for a long time through the years. Lots of people, you know, integrate into that world of the fish world and, you know, 
I did. I, I heard Mr. Blotto played last night in Ch Chicago. 16 of you. Who are you all? Seriously. What? What, what? What are we wedding? Nobody? You can come on and tell another story, Julie. Claudia, are you going to come on and tell a story tonight? I would love to hear the story of how you became a firefighter. Claudia, do you feel like jumping on? Come on. Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. The people that are watching this that have never watched it before are like, what is going on? Is in Kalamazoo tonight. Cool. I'm not. I think I'm going to be in Kalamazoo next week because Robin Lewis, the guitar player friend of mine from the Bay Area, who's really originally from Michigan, is going to be in Michigan, in Kalamazoo. So I think I might make it over there. Where Where is this? At, at the State Theater, maybe? That's where I had the Private Little Feet concert. Do you guys remember Remember when I had the Private Little Feet concert? How awesome was that? How completely awesome was that? I'm backstage hiding. Oh, wow, cool at Bells. You nailed it. If you sing the Mickey Mouse theme song and replace it with the letters in my last name, it sounds M-A-C-N-A-U-G-H-T-O-N, Mark McNaughton. Mark McNaughton, <laughs> forever let us hold our banner high, 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 high. Come along and sing a song and join our family. M A C N. Wait, what was that right? M A C N A U G H T O N. Mark McNaughton, I have Venmo. I have PayPal, Zelle, and Patreon too. So we would love you to join us here and I'll show you just now. M-A-C-N-A-U-G-H-T-O-N. And I don't even have an applause for me right now. Cute photo. Want to see that photo? This cute photo? You mean this? See, I'm using my Laura Petri eyes behind my ear. Head. Eyes in the back of my head. This is Noelle. Her name was really, is really Noelle. That's me. And that's my girl, Naomi. I'll post it. This is my dear friend, Naomi, that she left the planet last night. During the show, actually. 30, almost 38 years that we're friends. So today I've been deep, deep grief. And I'm really happy to be here with all of you tonight. So, yeah, it's a good one. I have others, but I like to leave it right there. And I see it. Oh, oh, I didn't post. So is anyone, no one's coming on here tonight. I'm just going to sit here, talk. What? You act like I do this every day. I do. You act like I do this every night. I do. What? 11, 11 a.m. Eastern time and 11, 11 p.m. Eastern time. Seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. And I'm just doing this right now. So I'm thinking that storytelling is probably not a good idea. What else could we do on Thursday night? Friday. <laughs> Welcome to my brain. What else could we do on a Sunday? Whoops. I'm trying to. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen. Patty. Patty. Tired eye, patty, 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 tired eye, patty. Yay! Get on here, girl. Tell us a story. Unmute. I like. 
like poetry too. Hi, Mil Michael Teach. Lower left corner probably to uh, unmute. Lower left, are you on a, are you on a phone? If you're on a phone, if you're on an iPhone, where's the unmute? Is it on the top? I don't know where the, I like poetry too, Patty, but I hear crickets. There are 18 people on here right now. Thank you all so much. Please, please, please come check out the show. It's on the bottom, apparently. According to Julie Luce, the mute button button is on the bottom. I need to go change. Oh, look on the top left. According to another person, Dean Little. I, and found, I found it. Okay, hold, can you do me one favor? Can you landscape your phone? Can you turn it? There yeah. you go. All right, Izzy DiMaggio. Mm, I love you, Izzy. I was with Joey the other night. Um, can you can you chat for a second, Patty? Uh, yeah, just <laughs> gotta think of something to say. Think of something Shut to say. Looks I'm like shutting you're... myself in my room. Oh my goodness! It looks like you're. It looks like you're on Maui right now. It looks like it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Well, I'm in a dark room, so I don't know how that is. I need to put this somewhere, though. Cousin Izzy and Patty, hold that thought. But please, chat chat amongst yourself. Okay. Well, I, I, should I give you a hint as to what I'm going to be talking about tonight? I, uh, I've got a story that a lot of people find fascinating, and I was looking for the book so that I could show you a picture, but... Um, when I was a little girl, it's actually one of, it's a story that I've, all my life, I've, I've had like three things that I've done that I was really mean and, and just, and I'm ashamed of, but this one involves a famous person. <laughs> and uh, so there was a book he wrote about his life and I was glad to find out that I was not in there and that I didn't affect his life as I thought I might have, but, uh, are you still coming back, Jenna? I'll be there in a second. Okay. I got to figure out where I could hold this phone so that I don't have to hold it. Watch clock. This well. feels like old time 11, 11 with Jenna back in the day, yo. What up? I might have already told this story, but I don't think so. I. Whoops. Hi there. Whoops. <laughs> Hi there. I was supposed to be at a concert at Bell's Brewery tonight. Oh, there's the, that was mentioned already on the show. Yeah, and uh, we got halfway there, and Dave uh -huh. didn't bring his id or anything and so we had to turn around and come back and then we got in a fight and then it didn't work so, <laughs> so who, didn't just, bring, who didn't bring their id dave did, did they really won't let they won't let you in there without id i don't know it said i mean it specifically said on the thing you have to have id i called the people and they said you know i don't know i can't really tell you if they'll let you in or not i mean so we just turned around and fought and went home <laughs> i'm not laughing but i, I, I am i'm thinking about you know this weekend was the outsiders yeah and your the peace signs right back there yep it's right there that's so cool they're in a cat <laughs> what do you think um, so did you hear my little story uh, that I started to tell I'm you? I'm just talking about my dress right now, actually. Oh, I didn't even see. Still liking it? I got mine on, too, actually. Yep, hers. Like? I love. Oh, my boobs look really big on this. Your boobs look a lot bigger than mine do. Well, but it's the way I'm sitting, plus I'm a yeah, lot bigger. I think if I sit this way, they'd, they'd look a lot bigger. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't I'm have to really look that big. I'm just way bigger than you are <laughs> in every way. And I mean, not every way, but <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Um, Tie dye Patty in the house. What so up? Have, have I ever told you the story, Jenna, about Anthony Kiedis? No. Well, I knew him as Tony Kiedis. Okay. And when I was in elementary school, I went to Brookside Elementary in Grand Rapids, and Tony Kiedis also went to Brookside School, and he was like two years younger than I was, and he just had really, I don't know if you know what he looks like and stuff, but just the stringy hair, and He's anyway, gross. anyway, he, um, he was in, I was probably in fifth or sixth grade, and he was probably in third or fourth grade, and it was over spring break and he pulled up to my house my mom and my aunt Jean were outside we were I was outside and he pulled up my mom says it was a limousine but I think it was more like a fancy like a mark three or something and uh he wanted to give me a present that he had made (laughs) and I didn't like him and I didn't want it (laughs) and I made him cry you made Anthony Kiedis cry? He was Tony Kiedis back then. I think and, that's so awesome. And I have yeah. a standing ovation right here. <laughs> yeah, that's not something to be proud of. I mean, it's, I was, a, I think I was a mean little girl. Well, you know, you I mean, mean, were you a mean little girl too? I'm sorry. Were you, t- <laughs> uh, you know, I'm mean. So you, you <laughs> called, you called me mean. So, I mean, I must still have it. And Dave definitely calls me mean, so. Anthony Kiedis is the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, in case anybody was wondering. Thank well, you, Well, so, so what happened was, so I made him you cry. made him cry. What do you think, did, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, lo, the meta loves the likes and the hearts and the cares and the laughter and the wow. Oh. Okay, what? sorry to interrupt. That's Pat, okay. are you gonna come on and tell a story? We so I made it all Pat night sometime. Patricia, Patty Loman, Tie Dye Patty, and Pat Moriarty. And if there's any other Pats, let's do a Pat night. There you go. We're gonna do a Pat night. This is how this is how this happens. Okay. Okay. So you made Tony. Kiedis. So I made him cry and sent him away. And then I didn't, I mean, my mom and my aunt were just so mad at me because they were just that, you know, so rude. And I didn't know anything about him. And then the next year he didn't come back to school. He moved, he he lived with his mom on Paris Street and he was friends. He was younger than I was, but so like my girlfriends had little brothers that he hung around with and stuff. But he moved to California after that and lived with his dad. And then he became the drug dealer to the stars. And I didn't know anything about this until I was a lunch lady here in Lakeshore. And my mom sent me a- At Hollywood school, you were a lunch lady. Yeah, so this was probably- I went to kindergarten. It was probably like 12, 10, 10, 12 years ago. Is that when we met? Has it been that long? Yeah, we met over 10 years ago. Yeah, because I, did, I didn't go to my high school reunion, so it was probably. Um, we could tell so that story. He um, he wrote a book about his life and <clears throat> and about, you know, his, his plunge into drugs and everything. Well, so then I started thinking, man, I wonder if I did that. So he wrote this book and my mom gave it to me for Christmas. And she re- she read the first part of it. She goes, you're not in it. <laughs> so I was very glad <laughs> that I didn't have the same effect on him that I thought that, This you know. girl broke my heart. So I moved to LA, became a drug dealer, and then a big rock star. Yep. Yep. <laughs> thought it was all me. See? <laughs> you, you, you could have driven him to stardom, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show her. I'm going to show her how great I am. So I guess. you did not ready red hot patty pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody says, oh, man. And I'm like, no, I don't think I no. I don't it know. might have been in the first draft. He mentioned this, the, the kids, Joe Walter and stuff like that. <clears throat> but I was glad that I 
I didn't affect because I always all my life I didn't know he was Anthony Key. You know, I didn't know anything about him that he was that. And when they sent me the article, I'm like, Tony Kiedis is Anthony Kiedis for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's the kid that I broke his I shattered his dream. I wonder what he made for you. Do you have any idea? No. I really I cannot. I rack my brain and I just don't know what it was. Don't know. I don't think I looked at it. <laughs> I think I just like, no, I don't like you. I mean, do you I guys was... understand why I'm wearing this dress right here? <laughs> I'm sitting in my chair. Patty made it. I Patty made this dress. I did. This is an older dress, too. Is that the one that I made by three t shirts? No. Is that... this is... One of the knotted dresses. Oh. Yeah. I have a purple one and I have the blue one. Do you still have the one that the black and the black and white one that I made? The okay. only thing I don't have because it makes my boobs bigger. What? Does it really? Wow, well, wow. Well, of course. Is that what does it really? Oh, I think it does. The ruching makes them that's what people think. Huh. Maybe I just have really big boobs. Maybe do. That's okay. I'm fine with it. I had a roommate in college that had to sleep with her bra on. That would be uncomfortable. Because she had really large boobs. Lisa has a t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Lisa, Lisa has a t-shirt that tie-dye pants. Oh, yeah. Claudia says nothing makes that makes my bigger. Yes, you did, Rich. You started the whole thing. No, it's I love this dress because look at this. It's so pretty. I forgot about that one. Can I have a purple one? Oh yeah. My my the, a couple of them have had, have had to retire because they get holes in very interesting places. Yeah, the dye wears longer than the hole than the the fabric does but if anybody wants really great tie-dye because you're doing a new good time time for you, for you. Yeah, thinking about it i tried but i've been too busy to Can, you want to tell people how we met oh uh, we met <laughs> i was probably really drunk yeah, but you were right across the street from your house, so it's okay. I was at the winery, and you were performing there, and then I know it, I wasn't. I was I was sitting in. Somebody else I know was performing, and I was sitting in. Well, I know, but you were up there with the microphone, and then I started being loud and wanting to sing uh, "Hotel California." And so then you made me go up on stage and sing it. And then you then you put the microphone in my face instead of your face. And yeah. you sang. I guess. And was that your high school reunion that night? We did that instead of your high school reunion, right? Yeah, I didn't, yeah. So it must have been my 20 year, I guess. I don't know. And then... Lisa met Tie Dye Patty at the winery. Yeah, Lisa met you at the winery and with uh, with your other dear friend that I really want on the show. Oh, Becky. Becky. Yeah, she just got this week because um, I run the soup kitchen at the first Thursday of the month, and she helps me out every Thursday. And today, on, on that Thursday, Boss Services um, announced their Veteran of the Month, and it was Becky. That was very cool. You guys, Becky has a purple heart. Yes, she does. And One she's of, got a big heart. <laughs> yes, but I think there are only less than 300 women with purple hearts. Wow. I Google yeah, it. She, Might be she, got, she got blown up twice. It's Not pretty amazing. Nice. What do you call her? Bub. Bub, because why? <laughs> Blown up, Becky. <laughs> she calls her Bub. Yeah. She calls her Bub. Bub's well, they, they call her that at, at the courthouse. A lot of the guys do. 
yeah, I don't she, call it Bob as much, she's but real, she's brilliant. She is. She's very brilliant. She's brilliant. But the 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 great one of the greatest things, Pat no Bub, blown up Becky, not Bun, Bub. Yeah. Someone thought <laughs> that we said Bun, no Bub, not Boob, not Bun, Bub. Um, when Nino died, my brother died, Patty made shirts. You made some shirts and you and made handkerchiefs, handkerchiefs. Mm -hmm. like s stack of handkerchiefs. And the guys in the, the pallbearers wore tie-dye shirts and tiger's hats. And I gave out handkerchiefs to... I gave one to the priest. The priest even mm -hmm. wore it in his pocket. He mm -hmm. showed it to me as he was walking down the aisle. That was very cool. And he went like this. He goes, Jenna. And he pulled it out of his pocket. <laughs> and the whole place was beautiful. It was beautiful. A show recap. Tie-dye Patty met Anthony Akitas from the Red Hot Chili Peppers and has a friend named Bub. Yep. And That's she, my claim to fame. <laughs> Really that and I saw him. Robert Redford. I saw Robert Redford like he was at a gig of mine once and he went like this. Oh my gosh, that's high praise. He's so a, I say, Robert Redford says he's not very uh friendly or <laughs> Robert? Yeah. How did you meet I, him? I don't know the story. Well, I didn't really meet him, but I went to uh we were in Salt Lake City. Well, we were in Sundance, Utah. I when I was a kid, I was in high school. My parents um, rented a cottage out there in Sundance. And we saw them. There's a, a lodge kind of thing. And they were, him and his kids were eating dinner. And my friend, when we walked in, I saw him. And she goes, oh, well, when he comes out, I'll introduce you to him. Well, he went out the back way. And we saw him, like, I got a picture of him walking up a hill i just like circled a spot on my camera you know on the picture that that was robert redford but so i never met him but i saw him so if you if you if you were right that you like you like you could do a you are here kind of thing robert right here. right that, that little blob spot was robert redford you make something good with tater tots no don't you do something with tater tots no potatoes something with potatoes you made something at your house one night with potatoes. I made scalloped potatoes and ham that time you had some. Scalloped potatoes. And then <laughs> you made me those cheese for my birthday that time, too. That was fun. The cheese thing. So you're having a wedding at your house. Yes, I am. At your house is the wedding. Ceremony, reception, everything? Uh, No, not the reception. The, cer the rehearsal, rehearsal dinner, the wedding itself and then the re the reception is at a sunrise farms it's a new uh which one is that where is it it's on hillendale okay um it, it's the old colby farm hmm. anyway so that's mason jars and everything everybody's gonna be drinking out of mason jars is it that kind of a... i i don't know i guess i don't know i'm not i'm not a planner i'm just doing what i'm told and are you, is it going to be, is there a tie-dye theme to the wedding at all? Um, only in that I'm tie-dyeing, um, I'm tie-dyeing some wedding gifts for the, the attendants. I'm doing robes for the, um, bridesmaids. And the then I'm doing. girls on the day, they're getting their mani-pedi everything. Yeah. And then I'm doing, um socks for all the grooms to wear with their suit you make good socks too we'll see <laughs> are you doing all the cooking yourself no um jim my friend jim small is helping me with the rehearsal dinner he, he's gonna bring his grill and he's gonna help me with the food for sure what are you making um not exactly sure yet <laughs> I know a few things, but like what? Well, we're doing a, a 
Italian beef sandwich. Um, we're going to grill brats and chicken. I just have to pick out some sides and stuff. How fun. So the wedding, the rehearsal dinner, and then the wedding, the actual ceremony are will be at your house. Yeah. So like the, the ceremony's in the yard. Um, so we'll just have like the chairs out in the yard. It's, I think it's a fast ceremony. So, but it's just a lot. I'm just a nervous Nelly. And <laughs> yeah, don't be nervous about it. You've got this. It'll be fine. What's yeah. the date? October 8th. Uh, oh, that's the same day my niece is getting married. It's a big date, I think. I think it's a very big date. Must be. A, that it's October, but yeah. Yeah. It's a big time. But, and that first week in October, because everybody's afraid it's going to be too way too hot. So they want to go into the where it's kind of cooler, but you don't really know. <laughs> no, that'll be I great. A, I got a big tent, so. You got a tent? Yeah, we're renting a 20 by 40 tent. So Are you going to have the RV in use? Um, no, other than I'm mean, having all the groomsmen like get ready at my house. So, you know, maybe that'll be a party trailer or something. I don't know. I don't know what you meant, mom. Patty's son is getting married. You may have met, we, we met his fiance cause she worked at two, 221. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kelsey. And where is she working now? Kelsey, where does she work? She's so sweet. She doesn't work now. She's a stay-at-home mom. Oh, she's a stay-at-home mom. She's taking care of my Ruby. <laughs> Ruby is here. Who is, remember the baby that you saw, the photos that Patty showed us one day when we went out to, what did we pick? Was oh, yeah, we picked apricots. Apricots. I missed the peaches. Yeah, peaches went fast. It was so hot. Peaches went really fast this year. I was in Telluride when I got your photos. Oh yeah, that's right. Looking at it going. I'm yeah, that looks. And then they're like, looked. Jenna, you're in Telluride. I'm like, all oh, right. Okay, it's not so bad. Sorry, I missed your peaches, but. Yeah, that was beautiful there. Oh, wow. It really is. I was there 30 plus years ago. I don't know why I didn't stay. I mean, I kind of know because it's, it's challenging to get, it's sort of like where we live here, it's hard to get to the airport here. From uh, here. It's the same type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But, and yeah, it was different then. There are 11 people here right now. Well, well, there was more. So maybe you better get somebody else on because <laughs> I don't think I'm holding my weight. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to say, say good night if nobody else is coming on. I was waiting. I think I do want to have a pat, a pat party. Well, I have you, Patty Loman, and Pat. Did you, have you seen Pat Moriarty? Have you seen his work? He was on the show a couple of weeks ago. He's, an, he's a cartoonist. I don't oh. want to say cartoonist, not just a cartoonist. He's this really, he can draw. Like, like caricatures and stuff? Yeah, like really cool stuff. He can draw. Can you draw? No. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I'm, no, I can, I'm like my I mom. My mom her. couldn't even draw stick figures. I'm a pretty good stick figure person. <laughs> and I like color. I did go back to the um, Outsiders. I was there today. Oh, I haven't I, I haven't been there in a while since we went that time. That was fun. Yeah. I was thinking about that. That was really fun. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Well, we need to see you. Let's go walk. Okay. Are you doing any? I will be dog sitting up in your neck of the woods. Uh. I got uh, walking Vern, or not Vern. Oh, no, I'm not watching Wally. I'm watching Vern. Sorry, I'm getting them mixed up. I've got a, I've been dog sitting quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, so if anybody needs dog sitter. Patty. I just dog sat Vader. Vader, Vader? was a, rot, a Rottweiler, really. That's what I just got done today. I watched him all weekend. He is the lovingest, most... It's so crazy. I just love dogs. <laughs> They're really great. They are. I was with my my friend Stacy and her dog. Me and you. Have you met Cashew? 
Rich, can you jump on and, and so we can see Cashew? Have you met That's Cashew? I have seen him on. Oh. Cashew just, Cashew is just so cute. I think, yeah. are you watching Fish? Are you watching the Fish concert? Me? No. Yeah, not I. I don't have that kind of TV. Hold on a second. Ladies and gentlemen, it's becoming a Pat, Patricia, and Patty party. Patty Loman, come on. Pat Moriarty, everybody. Am I going to go away? No, stay here. <laughs> it's becoming a Pat party. Patty Loman, go comb your hair. Ooh, I don't know what happened. I know, I need to call mine too. <laughs> there you go. Well, this is, if, as soon as Pat gets on, this is going to be cool. I know, I need to call Am I there? Whoa, you're really blown out. Yeah, I've got, light, go. I've got lights on because I'm drawing. I know, well, and also I got a really. Pat gets on, this is going to be cool. I've got it. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. But you have the volume on from your other device. Wow. Really oh yeah. Out. Okay, let me. Yeah, get I've got lights. I've got lights on because I'm drawing. I know. Well, also, I got a really. Patty Loman, come on. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. But you have the volume on from. I want to have a pat party. Did he freeze? Oh no. Mm -hmm. uh, am I still here? You're here and you're really blown out. I tried to shut my face off so you go. Here, let me try to shut some lights off. Oh, that's better. I thought I'd turned off and then you'd be. Jump on, Patty Loman. Come on, let's have a patty party. Pat. <laughs> Mine patty, seems to be Pat. freezing up. You know, your freezing is really freezing interesting. It goes screen? like this sometimes, like, and then you're there. Twilight Zone. Pat, Pat, Patricia, meet Patrick. Hmm. Patricia, do you Hi. go by Patricia to people? Oh, no, Pat. No. You go by Patty. And do you, Pat, Patrick, do you, are you Pat or Patrick? Oh, he froze. I used to get to your son Pat letters. That's why I, I definitely went to Patty because I didn't want to be Pat. To your son? Know. Yeah, they would to your son Pat letters. They, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. This is really. I'm really happy that you're all here. I'm not sure what's happening. He, yeah, his it goes into slow mo. Patty Loman, get on here now, please. This is an opportunity to take a photo with the three pats, like the three <laughs> tenors. There's the three pats. Ah, uh, he froze. Wah, wah, wah. What do you? What's what's your Labor Day tomorrow, Patty? Nothing. Nothing. We're supposed to go to that concert tonight and disappointing so i'm sorry that happened it's okay. i was gonna i was in new orleans and with this group of people there were six of us we were going to a concert we bought the tickets we were walking in and they had a, a x-ray machine where you have to go through and there were six of us so five of us go through and then this one person had her not a backpack, but a, you know, a pack, a small, like how we carry our purse kind of thing as a pack. Yeah. And they said it wasn't allowed. What do you mean it's not allowed? It's she's, I said, that's her life. She has her medicine, her stuff is sorry. She can't bring that in. So we were going to run it back to a hotel a mile away, but we decided to, we just left. We, we went back, they gave us our money back, but just sometimes those little inconveniences in life happen. Yeah, they do. Oh, I was really hoping you could meet Pat. Pat, meet Pat. Meet Pat. You kind of did. Very. Well, 
So did you go see the sailboats this morning? You know, I didn't. I always want to, and then I just like it. It's over before I even. I looked out. I saw about eight or ten of them. And then I thought, I walked down there later. I listened to the music. No, mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of, I, I, I laid low most of the day, did some things around here and um, talked to people on the phone. And then we went out to the Outsiders for about an hour and it rained. I know, it wasn't supposed to rain today, I don't think. Check it out, everybody. Do -do 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 Patty Loman, Patty Loman, Patty, Patty Loman, Patty Loman, Patty. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Julie's with the dogs. That's right. Who, who? Hi, Patty Loman. Hi, Jenna. How are you? Pat, Pat, and Pat. It's a Pat. It's Pat three. Wow, that's so cool. Hi, Patty. Hi, Patty. Hi, Patty. Have you Patty. met before? <laughs> I'm not sure. We might have met in person a long time ago, I'm thinking, but I'm not sure. Uh, we could have if you were in Michigan when I got up there. It would have been at one of Jenna's things, I think. But. Yes. Yes, it was. It was uh, when I was selling her merchandise. Oh, delivery. Yeah. yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, Dave I and I came to delivery a long time ago. Yeah, yeah I have. I'm sorry, I have a hoarse voice. I can't say too much. So, um, thank you for coming on. I got the I got the the photo with the four the three patties. I almost <laughs> okay. <laughs> here, here, the other ones coming and jumping back on again. Okay, you don't have to say much, but I'm glad that you're here. There he is. There. Oh, and check it out. Whoa, it's a party now. Am, am I back? You are, and so is Rich. And <gasps> unmute, unmute. It's a party. It's a party. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. Hello. Hi, Rich. Rich, meet Pat, Patty. I had a crash this at the party. Yeah, I, I, I felt like I was crashing at the party. You can be an honorary Pat if you want. <laughs> I'd like to be an honorary Pat. Is there a shirt? You need an honorary Pat shirt. I made a beer t-shirt once and I called it Pat's Blue Ribbon. Um, a bunch of cartoons. <laughs> we all made our own beers. We brewed our own beers and we made our own labels. And that's that was funny. funny. That's funny. Yeah. I love I love, I love the tie. I love I your tie-dye tie dresses, Patty. Thank you. Apparently, it makes they make your boobs look bigger, Patty. I, I don't think I need my boobs to look bigger. <laughs> but then they don't even judge of that. That was cash. Wasn't mine, by the way. He brought that. Cash is what? What part of was cash buried in the couch? Yeah, yeah. This is this is his custom spot. He's uh, even though it's even though like. like 95 degrees here. He's like buried under the blankets. You know, he's a burrow. <laughs> Hi, Cash. Hey, hey, can, can you, yeah, keep talking so we can see Cash. <laughs> yep. He's had a, he's had a, he's had a mostly indoor day because it was 105 here in Moraga today. Oh my gosh. So we kept his little paws cool. Well, I think we had 98% humidity. 105 in Moraga? Yeah, it, it's we have uh, like a four day heat wave going on here. So, like, tomorrow's supposed to be even warmer. Wow. That's not right. Terrible. <laughs> That's not right. Nope, nope, nope. Here. Hey, Pat, what are you working on? Oh, I'm, I'm still struggling with that album cover. I can't get this guy's face to look right. I've, uh, <laughs> It's, it's an important record. It's this guy's comedy album. So it's gotta look just like the guy. And um, I like, uh, uh, I've drawn him like, oh, you can't see it good. You can't see it, but I've drawn him like a, a few times. See, it's too blurry, good. You can't see how terrible they are. But finally, 
I'm, uh, uh, I've got it. So it looks like it. you can't see this one either, but this is the one that looks like. And so I, I kind of crossed a hurdle because I've been struggling trying to get this guy's likeness. And um, it's a comedy album, so it's got to look like him, but it's got to have a sense of whimsy to it. It just can't be like a straight portrait. That's not what they want. And so it's a, it's a tough one. But I, I think I got How many it. times have you drawn him? Well, I've drawn I the pencil sketches at least 20 times. And, and I keep going to his Facebook page and looking at his photos and staring at his, every shadow on his nose and everything and trying to <laughs> figure out what what it is that makes people look like what they look like. Did they give you a particular photo or two or three? To... No, I, uh, the, the, the comedian is uh, Sam Miller. He's, he's from Olympia and I've seen him a few times. And um, I'm Facebook friends with him and stuff. And so I've got access to a ton of photos of them and stuff. But, uh, you know, it's, I just want to get it right. That's all. <laughs> Make it look like him, but also be kind of cartoony, you know, kind of mad magazine-y. And how many more times will you allow yourself to? I think I got it this time. Cause like, I wish I, I wish uh, uh, this. Yeah, we want to see. The, well, here, let me try some a different lighting situation. Oh, Sam. Ah, that's Patty Loman. Patty Loman. Yeah. Patty's, ah. trying, Patty's trying a new lighting situation right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just trying to see what I can do to make Only oh, the Patty. shadow knows. Patty, you can do hand pup, hand shadows. So yeah. Not for my camera to <laughs> stop blurring. It's just like let's just wait for the camera to to get unfolded. Yeah, yeah that it's interesting that yeah. does that. Yeah, yeah. well, I got I it in goodwill for like eight bucks, and it just plugs into my computer, so it's a super yeah, cheap camera. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> man, it's not going to focus now. You're not. Oh well, I guess you'll just have to wait till the album comes out. <laughs> All right. No, you don't even. Get Dad, I was going to ask if it was warm where you are because it looks like the clock's melting on the wall behind. <laughs> <laughs> That is, that, that is like a dolly plot back there. That's I'm cool. Turn the lights back on. Maybe the camera will focus again. Thanks, you guys, for being here. I have, no, I have not had the best of days. Okay. Really See, happy. now it's in focus again. See, so I guess I have a catch-22. I, I can't show you my artwork tonight. I'll figure out that. I'll have to get a different camera. There's something but, about you and being on my show. I know I'm not, I, I'm the man of uh, uh, technical difficulties, aren't I? I just seem no, like no. It wasn't you that did it, Cash. It wasn't you that did that. Pat was on the show a couple weeks ago, and his show disappeared. But it was on Patty's page for about two days, and I tried yeah. to capture it, and then it disappeared. Yeah, that was a strange, uh, fluky thing. Yeah, it was. Yeah, never quite figured that one out. Oh well, Cash. Yeah. That one went off into the ether. Patty, you, have, you have a cat? Episode. Tie dye, do you have a cat? Yeah, I have two. Two cats. I've got a cat. My cat's name is Shemp. He's named after the stooge. <laughs> Oakley, Oakley and Pearl. Oakley and Pearl? So, Rich, are you watching? Yeah, I'm, yeah watching, I'm watching. I'm watching fish. fish. Uh, uh, Mike, Mike and, Leslie and Leslie are there, are there right, right now. now. Oh, they're, they're at the shop. The cool. They've been in Denver for the four-day run. Crazy Ugh. cat. Wow, I, I would be fished out. <laughs> As a friend, That's of, a friend mine of mine says, says it's too many notes. notes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this friend agrees with you. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm. I like less is more in any in all that stuff. But I did enjoy Goose. I love Goose. Is, Goose is really great. They do really interesting covers, and um, and you know Rick Rick's voice and his guitar playing are just really something else. So. I know. I kept saying, "How many more guitar solos is he, is he going to blow me away?" And then he'd do another <laughs> yeah. one, and then another it's, one. It's so great to see young bucks like that, like, like kind of at the start of their. Yeah. career or two they've got nowhere to go but uh doing it right. oh. i met a guy who's one of the he's going on tour and he's backing them 
So, fun. so we'll have we our, we'll go goose. We'll go get goose. I, I'm gonna say good night to everybody. Good night, Patty. Uh, my yes. sister. Night light show, Patty. You can say uh, good morning because it's mid it's 1208. It's Monday, Monday, September 5th. It's officially not my time yet. yet. Not my not time. time. <laughs> We're in three three time zones right now. That's right. Hey, That's so fundraiser is the weekend of my birthday, October 24th. Somewhere in that weekend. I don't know. That's the date. And we're going to do a Corona Roki soon. And you have a story for next week, Patty? Yeah, and I still have my Harley stuff to show and everything. Oh, I, that's display and share. That's a whole Yeah, thing. I'm a little behind right now. All right. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. No, no. I'll be watching, but I'm going to get off. And my thoughts are with you. Thank you, Patty. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you on the interwebs. Rich, do you have a story? Oh, gosh. <laughs> not, not off the top of my head. Not really a story. I think I might have a story. Okay. Um, when I was thinking, when I was hearing Patty tell her story about the Red Hot Chili Peppers guy, uh, I was thinking, like, uh, what uh, 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 brushes with uh, fame have I come across? And... Um, I used to be a, a guard at the Walker Art Center, and um, I met uh, the Walker Art Center is this art museum in Minneapolis, and uh, in the 1990s, no, in the 1980s, actually, the mid-80s, I was a guard there, and um, I met uh, Klaus Oldenburg, and I met uh, Roy Lichtenstein, and Dennis Hopper, and um, Frank Gehry's mother. Frank Gehry's mother. Yeah, the architect Frank Gehry, but right. his his mother uh, uh, couldn't. And Sylvia's uh, mother too. Uh, his, his mother was much older, and she uh, couldn't watch his uh, presentation because it was in the theater and it was really dark in there. And she was uh, sitting in a wheelchair in this little uh, 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 side area, and and she, you know, I was supposed to tend her. That was my as a museum guard. I was supposed to be her her, her uh, uh, go-to guy. And um, she had me wheel her out. And, and she said that it was too dark in there and it was making her eyes water to look at the slides and stuff. So uh, I stood out, I didn't get to see his presentation either, but I stood out in the lobby and talked to her for like an hour. And she was like, telling me like, when Frank was a little boy, he always liked to draw and he's always doing this. You know, just telling me all this stuff that she probably shouldn't be telling the average person, but. I feel I got to know more about Frank Gehry from listening to her. And she was a doting mother and she was so proud of him and everything. And <laughs> what an incredible artist, designer he is for sure. Well, that's neat. And so then, you were uh, a guard, did you have to learn special, did they, did they train you to be a guard? Yeah, yeah. I had carried a walkie talkie around and we all wore identical suits, these blue jab blazers with a red tie and we carried a walkie talkie and looked all authoritative and stuff had our little name tags on. I, I once told Walter Mondale, please not touch the artwork. Um, uh, Martin Friedman was um, uh, the, the main curator guy at the time and he was giving him a private tour of the museum when it was closed, but they still have guards in the museum even when it's closed in every, in every um, a, a room. And so he was uh, giving him a, a tour and I wish I could remember the piece of artwork that he was touching, but I walked up to him and I said, please don't touch the artwork, sir. And he just gave me the the, the, the politician from Minnesota, uh, Walter Mondale. And he mm -hmm. just like gave me this real like pissy stare and Martin <laughs> Friedman just cracked up laughing. He just thought that was so funny that, that he got reprimanded because that was my job and that's what I was supposed to do. And uh, so that's a pretty memorable moment. You did your job. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mondale, don't touch the artwork. Please don't touch the artwork. And then um, uh, with Klaus Oldenburg, he, he's deceased now, but he designed a bunch of stuff that was in the sculpture garden, you know, and uh, like the big spoon with the, the cherry with the in it. Right. Yeah. Um, the, so, so they were honoring him one time, and uh, uh, I was handing out these balloons to everybody with helium balloons that were red like a red cherry. And um, so I stood by the entrance of the museum as people were walking out 
and going into the sculpture garden, I was giving each of them a red balloon. And um, I gave a red balloon to Klaus Oldenburg and he was carrying it and the door closed and the balloon stayed in and he was out and it jerked his arm the back and everything and he turned around. It wasn't my fault, but it was sort of a comedic moment that he got that <laughs> you know, really door of his own thing, you know. But uh, I kind of got in trouble for that. But I was Red balloon takes, takes off, off famous, famous artist's artist artist arm. arm. <laughs> He was a I can see where that would happen, though. Well, yeah, and he was kind of a, a, a frail, curmudgeonly old guy by that time, oh, no. you know. So he was, you know, even a balloon string was pulling him back, you know. But uh, so working at the Walker Art Center, it was like lots of weird brushes with fame, just for yeah, him, you know. That's cool. Oh, cool. Um, I, uh, Dennis Hopper. One time, I uh, uh, there was a uh, an event in the in the restaurant on the upper floor, in the everybody was up there and they had museum guards at the entrance to the restaurant we just had to stand there we couldn't go in or anything and um Dennis Hopper was in there and he didn't really want to talk to any of the stuffed shirts you know he kind of came over and was just talking to me and my friend Scott the two museum guards and and uh he was really nice to us and and I was like oh man I'd sure like to get your autograph and he goes well gee, what do you got you know and I like reached around I frisked myself and I pulled out an instant cash receipt and I go, well, well you, you, you know, I gave that to him and he looked at it and he looked at the other side and he goes, $25, what's this for? Well, you want me to write down this? And I said, how about Pat, thanks for the drug money, Dennis Hopper. And he goes, okay. <laughs> and he wrote, Pat, thanks for the drug money, Dennis Hopper. <laughs> and on the back of this instant cash receipt and I put it back in my wallet and um, I still have it. It's free. What a perfect autograph, autograph, from, autograph from, from, from a cultural, a cultural icon. icon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were showing a bunch of his movies there, you know, and uh, so yeah, lots of ma magic moments, but they're all just were short, short moments, but. Uh, yeah, you yeah, got me thinking you about that. Did you make any Like Patty? Did, Patty? did I make, did I make anybody cry? No. Like Patty, I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I almost proud 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 of. Of. probably my closest would have been Walter Mondale when he told him not to touch the artwork. Mondale. The... That's a new That's goal. A new goal. Make, Make a celebrity, a celebrity cry. cry. <laughs> what about oh, you? Oh, God, I definitely, I definitely have definitely had some. Had some I, was I was thinking about this now that you guys were talking about it. I don't know why you're, why you're echoing, echoing for some, some reason. reason. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. I don't know why that's happening. Is it only me? It's okay. Okay. Is it only me doing it? You don't sound echoey to me. No, just yeah, I can me. hear myself echo back. back. In any event, yeah. I met O.J. Simpson. Yeah, pre pre murder spree. Uh, I was living in I was living in Hawaii. I was living in, like, this is back in the uh, late eighties, and um, I was working on the Big Island, the Ritz Carlton. Uh, 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 on the Kahala, Kahala shore, shore, and I, I forget what, what, what why I was I there, was there for, for what specific, specific program, program or what, what the business I was there for. There but for. the Ritz Carlton back then back. was like like what you would think about Ritz Carlton. Uh, it's all very uh, like dark, dark paneled woods, woods and brass, and, 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 you know, very kind of you know, she she over overstuffed feel for very wealthy people and. Um, was in the bar. The bar is like this, like a speakeasy. It kind of looked like a library and and a lounge at the same time. And there was there was some hubbub going on there. And basically, OJ was at the center of a crowd, kind of like wooing them with NFL stories of Buffalo Bills greatness and stuff like that. And I just remember he was holding court, and um, you know, we just kind of had a a brief moment like i was introduced to him by the guy i was there with nice to meet you and, and that was it but i still think about that now knowing his history these days i met bruce springsteen on hate street uh in a used clothing store and i still have his autograph on the back of the business card from the little store right down from la zona rosa mexican restaurant cool street well, those are the two that come to mind in terms of brief encounters. What, Patty? 
I got Donnie and Marie's autograph too. Got Donnie and Marie's. See, this is what the show is going to be: brush with with fame. That was at the same at at Sundance, Utah. They got flown in in a helicopter to the top of the mountain where they were, we were having a. It was a concert. Are they from Utah people? Aren't they Mormon like? What? Aren't the Osmonds Mormons? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. From Provo, Utah, right? right. So you uh, turned down from Robert Redford, but you went right up to Donnie and Marie. Yeah, they 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 were approachable. I bet they're both really nice people. I'd like to think. Who has shared? Does anyone has any of you met Cher? Do you have any connection to Cher? <laughs> you don't You're think still we would have told you? Right I'm still trying I'm still to meet Cher. I'm still trying to get Cher on the show. Did you see the Bruce Springsteen looking like Woody Allen and Martin Scorsese? Oh my God, I just saw that today. Trip, right? It was a very disturbing picture because he had like a like a like a crew neck sweater on. The I mean, it looked it was just ridiculous. Some people were trying to say it was fake, and I'm I'm sorry, it's not. Real no, that's like <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> with hard work 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 work. Work. He was at his daughter's at a, at a competition, competition for his daughter. Claudia, <laughs> you met Cher? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, she, no, she needs she to get on the show right, right now. now. That's, 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 whoa, that's, whoa, that's a showstopper. You met <laughs> Cher? You've been there holding on to us. There's your connection. Don't yeah, yeah save yeah. your next week we'll do this again. Brush with brush with fame. I guess brush with share. That's, That's a whole show. show. Brush, brush, brush with Claudia, Claudia I, asked I asked her to come, her to come on tonight, but yeah, she yeah, met her she in the east. east. Okay, okay, next Sunday night you have to come on the show. Or any or Sunday, Sunday night, night until we until don't we do this anymore. anymore. We'll, we'll let you go. It is late. Can we see cash one more time? One more time with the cash with the what? Say hello, hello buddy. buddy. Oh, Say hello. He's just so chill. Though. Yeah, that's a pooped out pooch. He's he is a poop. poop. He's a pooped, pooped out pooch. Out pooch. He's, a He's a sweetie. Good night, Cash. Yeah, I guess I. I, I it's probably. It is kind of late. late. It's twelve thirty. No, it's sorry for your loss, Ken. Hang, hang in there. In there. It's only nine nineteen here. M A C N A G H T O N. Mark McNaughton. <laughs> I'm not I'm sure, sure how, how he stumbled upon the show, but I'm glad that you're here, Mark. Please tell your friends and come on and be a show. Come tell a story next week. Rush with Fame. We'll, we'll exhaust that. Good night, Rich. Thank you. Have fun. Good night. Take care. Bye. Bye. All right, kids. I'm jumping off. I'm staying Bye. here. I'm staying Thanks here. I'm not leaving. leaving. I'm staying here. Daddy, thank, thank you. you. See you the next round. All right, I'll leave. You don't have to leave. You can stay here. <laughs> I can leave. I, I can I, leave I can it on. Down. Oh, then I can start being uh, do, doing my impressions of you and stuff. Yeah. Like going dancing around and. You know, there's. Yeah, there's I that, that would be a fun, fun show. show. I have a cousin who uh, does a really, really good, good impression, impression of you. Of you. I, I I don't think I can do a good impression of you. But you'd probably laugh anyway. I don't know, I don't if, know I'm if I'm impressionable. An imp a, a person that, oh, you are. Oh, it, Impersonated. Like, like if SNL wanted to do a spoof of 11-11 with Jenna, there'd be little touchstones that they could make fun of, you know, or copy, you know, your music and your, uh, your jingle. Already. And um, the way you sing people's names when they get on and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe they should have me on SNL then. I I, I hear they they just lost three more cast members, so maybe there's some openings. <laughs> hey, I'm open. Why not? I'm looking for my I'm looking for my next career. My friends are are retiring. Trying to retire. Grandchildren, and I'm going. Hmm, what am I going to do next? Yeah. Well, I'd love to retire. I wouldn't stop doing artwork, but I'd love to retire. I'm just getting tired of chasing the almighty dollar all the time, 
like I feel like a whore, like, oh, I must keep earning money, must keep do, you know, like I would just like to just do art, you know, and not You're like so the, good at it. Well, I wouldn't stop, but um if, if I didn't have clients, my art would take a different direction, you know. It it, you know, uh it would have a different purpose. Everything I do right now has a purpose to it. It's like it's for a cover or for it's a book or it's a sticker or something. You know, it's not just like, oh, I decided to draw this and here it is. You know, that's like a completely different approach because there's no purpose to that. You know, that's just, a, you know. Do you think you, you think would you draw, would, when you say, say would you draw different? Would you draw? Would you draw? I'd, I'd pick uh, different topics. Um, I would, you know, experiment more <laughs> i'd probably paint maybe a little bit i'd probably do some experimental animation but right now it's just like who's hiring me to do what and uh i just got another couple of jobs today they're fun things you know on, uh, on a uh, sunday you got a gig all right i like that yeah it's all like nickel and dime stuff like the thing i got today is um, a, a flyer for a punk rock show, but it's a, a, a pe peacock punk party is what it's called. They and should so have, it's like, have the, the three patties show up there. Yeah, there you go. But like, a, a, so I can think of something to draw up for like a, you know, you think about like people with mohawks are kind of like peacocks with their trying to show off their colorful hairstyles and stuff. So I can see like, um, Maybe get a bald punk guy with a peacock standing on his head, just like a mohawk. Oh, just like, oh, just the, like mohawk. the mohawk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And but but it's a, but it looks like a mohawk, but you look closer and it's a peacock on his head. I, have a friend, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done drawn anything yet. So he has he a mohawk. Mo and he was at a wedding, a wedding this weekend, and he put, and he put the, the place, place card, card for, for his, his name was, was stuck, stuck in his head, head, kind of halfway, halfway back. back. He was on Jeopardy, actually. I've gone through my punk dues, but I've never had a mohawk. He's got a good mohawk. Yeah. yeah. I've kind of had like the weird new wave mullets and uh, the, the spiky hair. And and uh, I used to like the that band, The Jam. So I used to wear these black trench coats with oh, black sunglasses. Did the and, huh? You did the trench coat? Yeah. Well, I was in Minnesota. It's cold outside. So a big long scarf and a black coat was like kind of punk, but yeah, it kept yeah. you warm too. <laughs> I remember and that army that boots. That worked in Oakland. Oakland. The yeah. trench coat with a long, long scarf. scarf. And stuff. Yeah. Or not really trench coat, more like a, what are those coats called? They were kind of a big overcoat. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and uh, uh, back in the eighties, like, uh, there's all these places you could go in Minneapolis, uh, Ragstock, places like that, where you could get really cool clothes for cheap, and um, you know, trench coats and and uh, parachute pants and um, just crazy things that that a punk would just love to play with for different fashion statements and stuff. Totally. That's why that's why I think flannel was like so popular in Minneapolis was because of Ragstock. <laughs> I think you're right. Well, I'm getting, well, I'm getting, I'm getting another, another text here, kids. Okay. okay. London, London Fog, Fog has wonderful, wonderful coats, coats, Julie, Julie says. says. That's, true. That's true. Good night, Good night Mom. Night, Mom. Love, love you. Are we still on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like bullshit, bullshitting. I don't know if I can even cuss on your show, but uh, I'm just, just. We talked, we talked about, about boobs and bullshit, bullshit tonight. tonight. So. Yeah. Got both ends covered. People ask People me, ask so, me so, what, so what, what do you what talk about on your show? I say, Everything, Everything except, except politics. politics. Yeah, politics is annoying. And it is, um, it, all it's going to do is like, it's like standing by the flagpole after school and saying, fight me. That's like, that's what talking politics is. And and so I don't like to, to do that either. <laughs> no, I but I am, am going to hang, can up, I hang up, up and call, and you, call later? you later. Um, sure. All I'm, right, I'm all right. sitting up late trying to get this guy's face. I think I've got it. William, William, we're putting William, everyone William. to sleep. One night One we night were on, I think it was New Year's, New Year's Eve, Eve, and about 4.30, 4 30, and says, says, I gotta go. I gotta go. And then <laughs> they were like, what? 
I got one more quick story for you. Um, I, I once got injured by a celebrity. Um, I was in the mosh pit when Iggy Pop was playing at First Avenue and was always in the front row going, yeah, yeah. And he looked down and he kicked me in the fist really hard. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. and then after a second, it quit hurting. And I was like, cool, cool, Iggy kicked me. You know, and it's like, I, I can still feel it. You know, and it was like, it was an honor was after awesome. the pain subsided. Yeah. Like how, like someone, how someone says, says Elvis, Elvis Presley, Presley kicked my cheek. I'll never I'll watch that. Watch. You're like, but yeah. Iggy, Iggy almost, almost broke this wrist. I'll never take this to the doctor. I know I someone, someone that, that almost knocks Wonder over. <laughs> no, he's, he's that would have been embarrassing. Show. He's been, He's on, the been on the show. We talked talk about, about that. that. I will yeah, the yeah, this. Oh. Thank you. Thank Rick. you, Rick. All right, I'll sign off. All right, I'll make my way out the door. To the fat party. party. I wasn't gonna. I mean, I looked like, uh, like I said, like Uncle F or, or, or Grandpa Munster with my hair and everything. I was like, do I want to get on there and show my face? And, and I don't know if I wanted to tonight. We want to. Right, Willie. Right, like a creepy old guy tonight, but I came on anyway, so I, I muscled through it. Grandpa Munster? Yeah, you know, his hair is always sticking out like that. Did he I, wear glasses? Huh? Did he wear glasses? No, he didn't. Now I, I would like too handsome to be Grandpa Munster. A handsome guy with Grandpa Munster hairstyle. Okay. Okay. I definitely got the gray hair. You have you hair? Have hair. Gray hair. It's all good. Yeah. I'll take it. Take it. Take it. All right, kids. Right, out. Out. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Love, hard. Love hard. Okay. Real hard. So first, first story time. Kind of cool. Next week we'll go with the same theme. Brush with fame. And if you maybe you injured someone or tripped someone or I'm, I'm you know you can tell the story. All right. See you in the morning for Monday. See you in, yeah, today. Monday morning movement, even on Labor Day. Good night. Thanks, everybody. Really, thank you.